Now, normally, with immigrant communities, what will happen, and you say, take Britain as an example, right, in the 1950s or whatever, you've got large numbers of Indians and Pakistanis who come in from the subcontinent in Asia. Um, they come in, and first of all, they do the basic, they do the manual jobs, or they're on welfare, or whatever, but they start to move up the chain as they become integrated into the system, into society. Mm -hmm. So the second generation are shopkeepers, the third generation are doctors and mm -hmm. lawyers. And mm -hmm. before you know it, they're indistinguishable economically yes. and educationally. Yes. That happened to black Britain, mm -hmm. for the most part. Mm -hmm. But it has not happened to black America. Mm. And another thing that's now making the situation even more complicated and even worse is that the Democrats are now, it seems to me, you tell me what you think, but it seems to me the Democrats are now like, OK, so we've got blacks in the bag. We don't have to worry about you anymore. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to pander to the Hispanics. And now yes. we're going to focus on, on the Hispanics. Yes. And what's, what you're just starting to see through, because now we have like multiple decades of 500,000 illegals coming over the border, you're starting to see Hispanics leapfrog over blacks. And now it's the Hispanics who are the, jo who are the, the shopkeepers. And then the Hispanics have become the lawyers. And black America is getting left behind because the Democrats have sort of said, well, we got what we wanted out of you. You're always going to vote for us. So we can now f put our attention here. Uh -huh. Is that your perception? 100%. And the thing is, it seems as if every other race is not willing to fall for the bait except blacks. We are the ones falling for Let me tell you how real it is. Well, let me ask you a difficult question then. Yeah. Why? Because that's a tough question. That's, that's, a hard one. that's the one nobody wants to I'm, ask. I'm going to say it, that's, though, but it's ready. That's the, look, nobody wants to be the guy to ask, I'll but I'm going to ask you. But is you ready? Why is it y'all? Okay. <laughs> Give I'm it to me you, straight. I'm tell tell you, me. I'm going to tell you straight up. What is it that, that black America is getting wrong? Black America, okay, the moment we submitted to wanting to be treated equal and knocking on everybody's door and begging them to see us as equal rather than value ourselves, mm -hmm. we played ourselves. So seeking affirmation from elsewhere instead of realizing greatness from within. That's why I would not march. Got it, got if it. If I went back in time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would not march with That's Martin a, Luther King. It's a very powerful answer. And I would not march mm -hmm. with Michael Max. But I understood both under yeah, perspectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really, that's really interesting. So, so with that in mind, what do you what would you tell black young black boys and girls now because you know that how would you give a leg up to the people that you can reach what would you tell them uh for me personally i would say straight like this listen how can you yourself expect a white man a spanish man or any other man or any person of another race to respect you when you don't even respect yourself right you can't even go into your own neighborhood because you'll get beat up yeah you can't even hang with your own friends because you might get shot yeah, yeah you're trying to push a narrative to somebody else to respect you but you don't care about yourself it starts here my worry for black america is that republicans have been let's say negligent, yeah. maybe ignorant. Democrats have been outright malevolent <laughs> and evil. And, and between these two parties, black America has basically been either abused or ignored. Mm. And now the part, the, one of those parties is just importing a whole new minority, so they don't have to worry anymore. Yeah. And the black community has so kind of successfully walled itself off from that first party mm -hmm. that you're going to find that this ever shrinking part of the overall electorate, or at least this not growing part of the electorate, has absolutely nobody that will look out for them. Mm. Because the black percent, the percentage of, of, of black Americans isn't going up. It's staying about the same. It's mm -hmm. like 12%, 13%, 12%, 13% all the time. While the proportion of Hispanics is exploding. Mm -hmm. So you've got Republicans who are like, we tried. Yeah. And now and we give did. up. And they did. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't try very well. But some of the, you know some of them are a bit hopeless. But some of them some of them tried for a bit. Yeah. And Democrats who are like, well, we got what we wanted out of you. So my worry is, Black America is just going to have no party that cares because that's what they need. There's going to be. That's what they need, though. Wow. Okay. We we've been asking. It seems as if all we ask is, what can somebody else do for me? Mm -hmm. What can you do for me? What can you benefit me? You think the Jews was asking that? Do you, you think the Hispanics were asking that when they were coming from Mexico? It's not what you see when they come over. They, they, they ask you for nothing. Start you got one, Julian, whoever else. There's 10 of them living in one bedroom apartment. <laughs> Julian. Fit into, 10 of them can fit in a car. Chadwick, they get up together. Chadwick's had day, sex with eight of them. Work, they, uh, will work, <laughs> they will work. Mexicans, you notice know Hispanics. Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've had a lot. I've been very lucky in my life. And I've had a nice upbringing. 
and I've had some career success. So I've always had somebody to help in the house. Yeah. And I've had white housekeepers, I have had black housekeepers, and I have had Hispanic housekeepers. And I want the Hispanic ones every time. They don't work. They work they so work. hard. They They're work. grateful. They work hard. They show up on time. They're never complaining. My experience is, I mean, you know how things are some like basically, if you don't mind me being blunt, the white housekeepers and maids I've had think that the work is beneath them, so they don't do it properly. And I think some of the, the black maids and housekeepers I've had have been distracted by other things in their life. They've yeah. had issues and problems and that's kind of, you know, drama. so yeah, drama. So they don't come when they're supposed to come and all the rest of it because there's yes, so much going on. Drama. They're pulled in nine different directions. And so, so true. yeah, but the Hispanics, Tatiana, oh, I One dream, time. I dream of Tatiana. No, like, no, look, I've, I remember it well. I remember it like it was a marriage, you know, <laughs> like it's just, oh, no, honestly, 2018 to 2019, Tatiana, she was amazing. But no, but they, they work so hard. Yes. And so what you're saying, which is incredible to me, is, is maybe short-term pain for long-term redemption, right? Republicans, okay, fine. Black community, you've, you've, you've cut yourself off from the Republicans. Sorry to both of you. Democrats, maybe we should just let them focus on the Hispanics so black America learns to, to learns that it only has itself. First of all, let them focus on the Hispanics because they're not going to give every fall. A Hispanic isn't, they don't, it's in their DNA to work and it's yeah. in their DNA to, to, to manifest and grow. Like, that's what they do. That's why they're always popping out babies, always mm. working, small jobs. They take all of the, mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. of the middleman jobs. Mm -hmm. Hispanics have them. Yeah. They're not going to submit to government. They're not going to submit to the Democrats. They might use them so that they can be And then legal. turn around and bite the hand. Of yeah. course yeah. they are. <laughs> it's yeah, the yeah, political yeah. court just still on, and again, a distracted. Every, we, we focused on this and we focused on that. You know, mm. you know, what's the name just bought that new Lex and that's so nice and you know, such and such just had a new baby with such and such. You heard about them? Yeah, like, yeah. Rather than listen, what's going on in your own household? Yes. Manage what yes. you got over here yes. and don't worry about what's going on over there. It's the, it's the talking. It's the talk. Look, I live with African American man nine hours a day. Sister, cousin, mom. I'm like, what are you talking to these people for this long about? Nothing! What? You know, I know. And it's like, I'm, and sometimes I'll eavesdrop and, and she's talking about making the kids spaghetti. And I'm like, what are you doing with your life for <laughs> so many hours a day wait on a the minute, phone? Wait, 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 wait. I gotta, re I gotta understand what you're saying. Wait a minute. Let me just register. Let I'm just saying. Say. So even, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is groundbreaking. Wait a minute. <laughs> so even if it's in a man-on-man -man relationship somehow some way you can still register that homeboy need to be doing something else besides sitting on that <laughs> <laughs> look 